fixing boats in exotic locations again and this one comes from Port Villa in Vanuatu. This week we're looking at the motor on the Outhaul Furler. On our boat the in-mast furling system is made up of two motors, one mounted on the mast and the other mounted on the boom. The one on the mast furls the sail around the inner foil and the one on the boom acts as a kind of outhaul for the sail to pull it out. Both comprise of a 24 volt Leroy summer motor and MVA gearbox and they're protected by a PVC cover and mounted with Delrin rings. If you saw the blog on servicing the outhaul furler you'll see that I had the whole box rebuilt and did away with the Delrin ring. This may or might not be a good idea because it does act as a sacrificial ring in the case of jamming. If you want to see how I completely upgraded the in-mast furler check out this blog here. Been having problems with the furler again. Um, anybody who's been following the channel for a while will know that this furler has been uh, my nemesis. I think what it is this time is the, uh, the carbon from the bush brushes is getting into the actuator. Electric motors are obviously made up of different components, but it's the brushes that deliver the current to the computator, which rotates the motor and then transfers the power through the shaft to the gearbox. The brushes are made of a, a carbon graphite and other materials mixed together. And as resilient and friction free as they are, they do wear down over time and the carbon dust that comes off them often clogs the motor. You can actually take the, uh, the brushes out by this and uh, put an inspection hole here. So you can empty any loose carbon out, but it doesn't actually take the carbon off the, the motor itself. Um, so I've decided to bite the bullet, take the whole thing off, and I'm gonna give it a whole clean. This one's 24 years old, I think now. Like the other one, the, the magnets have completely crumbled. So I had to completely replace that, which you've seen in a, in a different video. But this one, um, I'm trying to keep it going because uh, I've invested so much money in it. I'm reluctant to let it die. So um, I'm gonna give the motor a clean and uh, hopefully restore it back to its youthful self. This particular spec of Leroy Sumner's motor, you can't get them from Leroy Sumner's even though they do make them. Um, Amel have kind of got them tied up into some sort of deal where you can't even get it through a Leroy Sumner's dealer. And believe me, I've tried. And because of that, there's a huge markup on them. Uh, by the time you've added on tax and delivery, I mean, it's over a thousand euros just for a, a 24 volt electric motor, which is ridiculous. I have actually found um, a replacement, uh, an Italian make called SEMA, and it fits with the Bonfiglioli motor really well. It's caused me no end of issues, this Ferrola, but it is 24 years old, so you can forgive it for being a bit grumpy, I guess. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna give it a clean out and see if I can just eke a bit more life out of it. to clean these gaps. The other thing, apart from the carbon composite wearing down, is the springs can also degrade and rust and lose their spring, which prevents them being pushed onto the computator. So I've just noticed that while that brush is fine, this one, the spring's actually corroded and it's not working anymore. So that might be one of the reasons that that motor hasn't been engaging. There's no spring in that. So it's probably just been hanging there loose, not doing anything. Luckily, I've got some uh, replacements. As that brush is broken and the other one doesn't look like it's far off, luckily I got some uh, replacements from a British company called ECP uh, back in the UK 
and they have exactly the the brushes I need. It's got ECP M13S written on that. The brushes come in all shapes and sizes and configurations and materials and uh, it's really hard to get a match sometimes especially for these old motors but luckily I found this one funnily enough in the UK. Uh, there, was a, there was another company in uh, Belgium I think or, or the Netherlands I can't remember um, they were almost the correct match I mean the, the brushes are the right size but the end pieces weren't so uh, to use those I would have to take off the the end pieces of the old brushes and solder them on there which I don't particularly want to do I probably will replace this at some point because of the lack of the hassle factor and obviously it gets better parts a lot easier but in the meantime I'm going to try and uh, bring some life back into this one and uh, make it last a little longer just a quick reminder that if you do find these videos useful and you'd like to return a favour, then you can click on the thanks button below this video and buy me a cold one, which would be very much appreciated. Just cleaning up the wires a little bit. We'll put some contact cleaner in there. It evaporates, it doesn't leave any residue. You don't want that residue attracting carbon dust. And this is uh, it's like a, an oil that kind of protects and insulates and lubricates the uh, electrical components. A little very thin layer of that on the contacts. Brushes back in. This furl has been on and off a few times now and every time I put Sikaflex on there I've got to cut away the Sikaflex, clean it up and then put more Sikaflex on so I'm getting a bit sick of doing that. So instead of what I've done is I've uh, used a, a thick dialectic grease um, to put into the gaps to keep the water from uh, penetrating. then covered it with some masking tape and then put a Jubilee clip over the top. Uh, I'm not sure how practical that will be but uh, it'll certainly make it easy getting it on and off in the future if I ever need to. Hopefully I won't need to now. I've given it a good clean, I've put new brushes in there. Uh, the only thing that can go wrong now is if the, the magnets collapse like it did on the other one, in which case I'll have to replace it with the Bonfiglioli gearbox and the other Seema motor that I've got on board um, as a spare. But anyway that's that job done um, so I just need to move on to the next job now. 
That's it. Thanks for watching. And thanks in particular to our patrons who make all things possible. If you want to become a patron, just follow the links in the description below. Be sure to check out our other sailing and travel channel, Mothership Adrift. You can also check out our merch store with mugs and t-shirts with our Mothership branding. Thank you.